Welcome to the Step One of View Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about key enzymes of lipid transport along with the major apolipoproteins. High-density lipoprotein is involved in transporting cholesterol from the body to the liver. The way it works is by circulating in the blood in a form called the nascent HDL. When cholesterol enters the bloodstream, it goes to the plasma. Now we encounter the first key enzyme involved in lipid transport, lecithin cholesterol acyltransferase. It esterifies the cholesterol in the plasma to the nascent HDL, turning it into a mature HDL. The mature HDL can then transport the cholesterol to the liver. The mature HDL can also transfer the cholesterol esters to the other lipoproteins, VLDLs, IDLs, and LDLs. This is accomplished by the next key enzyme in lipid transport, cholesterol ester transfer protein. PCSK9 is an enzyme that degrades the LDL receptor. Remember that the LDL receptor allows for mediating LDL endocytosis into peripheral cells. If this enzyme is present, then serum LDL concentrations will increase. Consequently, if the enzyme is inhibited, then there will be an increase in LDL receptor recycling, and thus serum LDL will decrease. Hepatic lipase is involved in degrading the triacylglycerides remaining in intermediate density lipoproteins to enter the liver. Hormone sensitive lipase degrades triacylglycerides in adipocytes. Lipoprotein lipase degrades triacylglycerides circulating as chylomicrons. And finally, pancreatic lipase degrades dietary triacylglycerides in the small intestine to be absorbed into the intestinal cells. Now, let's go over the major apolipoproteins. Apolipoprotein E mediates remnant uptake into the liver. It is found on everything except LDLs. Apolipoprotein A1 is found only on alpha lipoproteins, aka HDLs, and activates LCAT. Apolipoprotein C2 is a lipoprotein lipase cofactor that cleaves the triacylglycerides for uptake into the adipocytes. It is on all apolipoproteins except for chylomicron remnants and LDL. Apolipoprotein B48 is the apolipoprotein of chylomicrons and is thus found on it and also chylomicron remnants. It controls the secretion of the chylomicrons from the intestinal cells to the lymphatic system. Lastly, ApoB100 is found on the transporters that come from the liver, VLDLs, IDLs, and LDLs. It will bind the LDL receptor in receptor-mediated endocytosis. That's all for this lesson, Step 1 of You. We'll see you in the next video.